everybody. We are back. My next guest is a correspondent on Comedy Central's The Daily Show. He'll be appearing at The Laugh Story in Houston, uh, June 15th through the 18th. So go see him there. Please welcome the very funny Louis Black. <laughs> The weather in this country is completely out of control, and somebody better do something about it quickly. In case you didn't notice, in early May throughout most of the country, there was, the heat was unbearable. In early May, in New York City, it was in the upper 90s in the first week of May, and that's wrong. Okay? Because if it's, I am personally getting ready to move up north. Because if it's in the upper 90s in the first week in May, imagine what it's going to be like in August. Okay? It's going to be about 217. <laughs> You're going to come home from work and the sun will be a foot from your head. <laughs> you'll be sweating like little pigs. And you'll go to the refrigerator to get something to drink and the eggs will be done. <laughs> and then you'll think back to this night and you'll think, well... He wasn't that funny, but he was a prophet. Are you in... That was... Either do it or don't do it. Uh, are you enjoying the new millennium? I rest my case. I rest my case. It's totally bogus. What's the difference between the new millennium and the old millennium? Nothing! It's the same river of crap with a two in front of it. And I looked forward to this new millennium when I was a kid. I knew I was going to live into a new era, and the new era would be great. Screwed again. No flying cars! No flying cars. <laughs> and it was the worst New Year's ever. Ever. Nobody went out. We were scared to death. Most people stayed home and watched people in other countries have fun on television. Seven-year-olds locked in a closet don't have the paranoid fantasies we came up with for that night. Don't go out! Whatever you do, don't go out! We don't know what's gonna happen. There could be giant ticks everywhere. We don't know! Stay by your washer and dryer. Stay by your washer and dryer. In New York City, they said there were gonna be terrorists. Ooh. They always say they're gonna be terrorists in New York. How stupid would a terrorist have to be to terrorize New York? It's redundant. Why terrorize a city that terrorizes itself better than any city on the planet? Our mayor scares the hell out of us. I knew I'd lived in New York City too long when I was on a subway one day and it stopped. And the, uh, the doors opened and they announced that we, there was a bomb on board and we should evacuate the train. And nobody moved. <laughs> we just sat there looking around. Do you see a bomb? I don't see a bomb. <laughs> I've only got two stops. Let's go for it. I performed in Chicago on New Year's Eve. 28 people. 28 people. People didn't come out on New Year's Eve. 28 people in an audience that seats 180 at a club called Zanies. And if they were depressed, I was depressed. It was the most exhausting performance of my life. It would have been more fun for them if I'd just gone into the audience, lifted everyone individually, and guessed their weight. Now, the worst thing about this new millennium, the worst thing is, is that we're going to have to vote for the President of the United States. Okay? And the choice is now, you know, Al Gore and George W. Bush. Boy, does that ever redefine the word sucks. 
<clears throat> it makes me pine for Dan Quayle. Now, as a citizen, I'm ecstatic that the Republicans stopped him from running. But as a comedian, I weep. He was the best. He's the Babe Ruth. Stuff would come out of his mouth, he didn't even know he was saying it. He'd look at the guy next to him like he passed wind or something. I knew that, that Dan Quayle was a gem when the first time that he ever spoke, the second sentence out of his mouth as he's been picked to be the vice presidential nominee was, we must go forward to the future. Or past. To the back. How would you diagram that sentence? How would you diagram it? Take a pencil out, sharpen it, and shove it in your eye. Thank you very much. Good night. That was great. Thank you. That was great. Thank you. Lewis Black, everybody, we'll take a break. <laughs>